people are just getting caught out by that. But we know Hannes Agner, who's going to go off first. He will definitely have done this move before as he's a local and knows this course inside out. Just checking his time, making sure he's there at the right place at the right time. And uh, he looks very, very focused. He, gee, he's done this so many times now. He could do this in his sleep. Hannes Agner. And we are underway in the men's K1 World Cup final with a two-time Olympic medalist, the first man on the course. So that's not a bad way to kick off a final, is it, when you have a, a bronze medalist at two Olympic Games getting us underway. Yeah, and he's looked really good on that top section there. Super composed, absolutely pinned the whole move. And um, yeah, let's see if he can lay down a time for the rest to chase. Interesting thing, Chris, the, the, the five best credential paddlers are all in the first half of this final. So by the halfway stage, we could have a sub-90 time. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's a bit different, you don't always get that, so it'll be good to see and then see them young guys can actually challenge and take take them on, take them on at their own game if there have been them runs gone down. So a little bit of a loss of time there, but he's not too bad, Hannes Agner. The bell card starts ringing. They ring that bell for all the home competitors, all the Germans, to give them a bit of a G up. It yes. worked very well for Elena Lillick in the women's final. Yeah, I've just uh, seen her take the win there, so I know Hannes will definitely want to be trying to do the same for Germany. Pretty and clean so far, and, and a pretty smooth run, Chris. Yeah, he's looked really good. He was good on the first two splits there, competitive to what went down in the um, semi-final just sort of an hour ago. A bit caught out on that S move there, but see if I'm time that actually cost him. So tracking OK at the moment. The most important thing for him is that he is clean. He has no penalties. And he hasn't even had a review yet, so everything's going along very nicely indeed. The judge has got nothing to do at the moment. They're sitting back in the banana lounge ordering another daiquiri waiting for something to happen out here on the course because this is going to be your first time of the final and it's 93.74 if you're right chris that's not going to be enough for a goal but gee to put down a run like that first up catch me if you can yeah i know a really strong time there from hannes not far off the leading time of the semi-final winner um Luke composed and more importantly clean we haven't seen many of them go down so to first person to be clean is really good to see maybe that's the sign of the final we should uh, just actually mentioned with the semi-final, uh, Chris, that we did have one athlete who did uh, clean uh, without the penalty, go under 90, but then he got disqualified. That was uh, Benjamin Renier from France. I think there must have been a problem with his boat or something, but uh, anyway, he did go sub-90 um, raw, 